Okay, so the myth we're going to cover for today, a very common myth, especially in old school boxing, is that weight training makes you slow. So just like we covered last week that uh, weight training and maximal effort is uh, bad, dangerous for field-based athletes, a very common myth in the combat world is that uh, weights will actually slow boxers down or make any kind of combat sport uh, athletes slow down. So um, one type of tra training that will do that, and that's what this is based off, is um, bodybuilding type training. Bodybuilding type training will slow you down because it's focused on bringing a muscle first of all to nearly fatigue and working in partial range of motion. So this is all based on like an old school mentality and that's why people say this, but there's many forms of strength and conditioning um, that improve boxing performance and we'll go over that now in a minute, but <clears throat> basing um, sports performance of a type of weight training that isn't based around performance, it's only about uh, hypertrophy, is it's a very old school myth that just uh, doesn't really hold any water. So, um, why do people say this? Again, number one, like I just said, it's because um, they're, they're based on bodybuilding type training. Number two is quite simple. Uh, boxing coaches and skills coaches, most of them, if, they're, if they have this mentality, they just don't know what they're talking about. They don't understand that, they don't understand about like rate of force development and uh, getting stronger in, in, uh, in your range of motion. Um, so like I said, Bodybuilding type exercises is all about hypertrophy. It's all about building muscle. It's not about building functional muscle for combat sports. What I mean by functional is it's not fit for that purpose, but you can weight train with the purpose of improving, improving uh, boxing performance and combat sports. Um, number three, it uh, kind of ties in with number two, but it is a very narrow-minded approach. Because in the old school way, that was, uh, in the old, back in the day where bodybuilding type training is mainly the type of training that was given to lads in the gym, um, people just got narrow-minded and didn't think outside, they didn't think of the science behind athletic development. Remember, athletic development isn't just for any type of sport, it's, at the, it's athletic development for all sports. So, what, what, actually, what, what weight, weight training and sports performance actually does do for the sport of boxing, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, any martial art or any combat sport, it increases your rate of force development. Your rate of force development is the rate you can produce force. So if you are using, if you are using sub-maximal weights and moving them at the maximal intensity, you are improving your rate of force development. That means it will make you faster. It will make you more explosive. And that's what combat sports, most of them is based around, especially the striking sports. It's very ballistic, it's very explosive, and it has to be very quick. Increase your speed and power, tied into your rate of force development. But this can be done through what's called accommodating resistance. So for instance, if I was to get a band around my, um, around my back and I used to put my thumbs in it and I was to pretend like I was punching, that band will get tighter at the end of the range of motion, so there's more resistance at the end. But what it will also do is it'll teach you the contractile of the muscle to just bring it back to the same path it came. But as I have to keep extending through that range of motion, that is getting heavier, 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 heavier and heavier. So that, that means that like, it's, it's, uh, it's teaching me to push through a range of motion. Accommodating resistance is that it accommodates the range of motion that you are at. So whether you're here, here, or here, it does increase your power. So, um, another thing that weights will do for contact sports, it will lower the injury rate in non-contact situations. So we can never predict um, a contact injury. A contact injury is something that's very random, but what you can do is lower the risk of, say, like, uh, twisting your knee, ACL tears, um, all that kind of non-contact stuff. Um, it, will, it will bring down that injury rate. Um, and another thing to take into account as well with uh, strength and conditioning, it will improve the, the mobility of your joints so that you are able to have a better movement capacity. So, in short, these are the three reasons, I think, why um, that old school mentality of weight will make you slow. Uh, uh, bodybuilding type training, skills coaches don't know what they're talking about, and because they have seen something not work, because it was based on one style of training, they're very narrow-minded and open. What it actually does, increases your rate of force development, it therefore increases your speed and power, and it lowers your injury rate of non-contact injuries. Complete myth, get training.